So yeah, it's uh, it is like the whole thing is crazy. Yeah. What do you think you figured? What do you think you figured out? Uh, let's see. Um, well, that time traveling, he did tell me that um, Donald Trump becomes president in 2024. Hopefully, the timeline can change, but he said that uh, Michael McIntosh became president in 2028. So, with that, inf- with that information, uh, it's, it's going to be a wild journey. So what, do wild you, uh, what do you think changed? What do you think would uh, change the timeline? That's a good question that I've been wondering myself. Um, of course, I believe since we since we have uh, uh, specific contacts like with uh, future presidents, uh, time travelers, that kind of um, motivate the situation. I think. Uh, but yeah, this is a crazy uh, thing to be in. But yeah. You know, so you don't know what events might have triggered it to change. Whoops. Uh, what events? What's Not really. Well. Because, because I do remember that um, a long time ago, Michael McIntosh did say that there are time travelers fighting each other to change the timeline. So, uh, yeah, to me, that m- makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so why why do you think they want to change the timeline? That's a good question. Uh, there might be uh, corrupt time travelers out there, and I do believe that there are good time travelers who want uh, to guide the timeline in the right direction. Um, but yeah, with that information being said, uh, I do hope that the timeline is is uh, regardless coming back together, um, hopefully, <laughs> so yeah, but with that being said, um, <laughs> with all that stuff, um, how you been, Jacob? Can't complain, man. Living. Living, we did some camping this weekend, and uh, I don't know, just hanging out this week. That's good. No plans yet. Yeah. It's a lot of work to get done. Yeah, that's good. I don't believe in time travel, but it is interesting to look into. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Well, a lot of people have their own uh, t- different uh, opinions about it, but like, once when you uh, do your own research, you will come to find that there's a conspiracy to keep this stuff under wraps. What do you think? Uh, what do you think the benefit to keeping it under wraps is? If, well, if you do think about our government, they are hiding, um, highly advanced technologies, um, in including uh, time travel and even alien ch- technology. But yeah, that's... But why would uh, why would they want to keep that away from us, is what I'm wondering. Because, yeah, that's a good question. Um, the reason is because, like, if this technology is public, which I do believe it will be, at 
release in this decade. Um, but if this technology has been uh, disclosed and released to the general public, um, the, the, the corrupt government will, um, they will not have as much power because we, 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 the technology that they are keeping and like hiding, like it's actually like, it's actually amazing. It's uh, what you would consider to be a uh, science fiction. Um, that's that's the that's the easiest the easiest way that I can put it because the technology is that uh, far out like like that um, that extreme with you know teleportation <laughs> and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, I've gotten a haircut, so that's good, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. This game's distracting me. Yeah. Hmm. So, if uh, if Donald Trump does become president. What are uh, what are the bad effects of that happening? What uh, how would that how would that be a bad thing? Do you think it's a, a good thing if Donald Trump becomes president, or do you think it it's insignificant to the timeline? Well, in the original timeline, Donald Trump did um, win the twenty twenty election, uh, but yeah. like, since this is going to be his second term uh, I, I wouldn't see I that to me it, it wouldn't be any different if he if he did um, win the 2020 election in this timeline do you know what I mean yeah like it's just catching up from the old timeline yeah right yeah yeah Pretty much that. That's a good way to. Um, oh. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, uh, the reason I don't believe in time travel is because time is man-made thing. That so, uh, how can we travel? Something that never really exists. Um, that's a. I do understand what you coming from. I think of uh, um, I think of time as a uh, a form of measurement, and uh, I think we can still. I, I think even science today we can we can feel theoretically time travel, regardless yeah. of uh, if it's a man-made construct. Because the man-made construct is just a way of measuring um, what's going on on this planet. So I, I do think it's possible to time travel uh, theoretically if uh, you have the equipment that would allow you to. Like if you were to go um, out to outer space, uh, orbit the Earth a couple times, and set your clock to the same as when you left, uh, you'd, you'd time travel a little bit. Yeah, that is interesting to uh, think about. Um, but of course... Um, our government, they are paying our scientists or probably like blackmailing them uh, to say, uh, like, don't tell what you know about uh, time travel and, and other secret <coughs> technologies, which, which I do believe that is what they do that's what they do <clears throat> sorry but yeah no, you're good and I'm a little apologize for yeah 
Crazy. Might get me some Aladdin going. Too. Sorry? I haven't played Aladdin in a little while. I'm going to play Aladdin today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You ever play Aladdin? I haven't. Back Sean down. is, Sean is playing that, the Xbox right now, so. <laughs> yeah, he's. But yeah, I, I don't um, normally watch TV or I don't really uh, play video games that much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we haven't talked about how John, uh, sorry, not John, Tito, um, Andy, how he called my dad, which is, which was crazy. How you think? Andy, how do you think Andy called his So, so how did you know? How did you know Andy called your dad? Sorry. So, how did you know that Andy called your dad? Well, my dad, he said, uh, someone, someone uh, called Andy Pichigo. He's trying. He. Oh yeah. Sorry. Child. So, someone named uh, Andy Pichaiko was trying to call him, he said. And then I heard that he said that. I overheard. And who did he say like, that? Who did he say that to? Who was he saying that hey? to? He was saying that who to my mom. mom. He was saying and that to your mom. mom. And did, she, you, did your mom ask any questions about it or no? She came up to me and she said, um, hey, someone is trying to call uh, my father. I goes by the name Andy Bishaiko. Oh, Andrew Bishaiko. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, like, so I went and I, I went, I, you know, I went up to my dad and I said, what happened? And then he, he was like, Saying go away, Andre. Go away. I, I want to talk to you about <laughs> about this. And I was like, why are you not telling me what happened? And yeah, he was just being he was being like a kind of like a jerk. But maybe maybe if I ask him again, he will tell me. But yeah, I think you gotta sit down and actually talk to him about it because it doesn't sound like Andy knows anything about it. That's why I was wondering. Yeah. Like, I'm really curious if uh, if there was something else going on. If there's no that's, why I want, that's why I think that was uh, Andy Bishaiko from the, from the far future. Or something. Who knows? Maybe from an, another dimension. But yeah. Um, I mean, I guess it's possible, but I wouldn't know. Anything is possible, I guess. Like, uh, you know, but yeah, no, I did. I did reach out to the real Andy Bashiako on this good, yeah. in this universe on this planet, and I didn't hear anything yet. How's it going, Miss Jasmine? Nice to see you. Yeah. But yeah, that's a crazy uh, scene, I would say. Yeah. But I will definitely ask him again. Um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> and I did ask... Um, uh, Sean and my mom, what they uh, thought about it, uh, how he called my dad, especially since I I never told my dad about Andy Bishaiko, so he had no idea about him. So that was that was strange. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I was wondering I was wondering if Michael McIntosh would do something like that. 
would get a hold of your dad and act like he was Andrew Bacciago. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. the whole thing was crazy. Oh, I thought you were more. <laughs> That's right. What so, up, Sean? Yeah, Sean Jacobson. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I was telling him about you, so. But yeah. My computer is like 10%. That's all good, man. I appreciate you getting to pop on at all. Sean says hi to. Oh, Miss Jasmine, you probably like uh, my conversations about my my past experiences with uh, with Ouija boards and my spiritual dabblings. Time travel is more Andre's forte. I don't uh, I don't have any experience with time travel. Yeah, I have the paranormal things that I have a little bit of experience with. I experience time travel and multiple alien abductions, like the like the like the implant in Mars. Oh yeah, uh, but this yeah, one I've seen a lot of uh, space Twenty fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do Ouija boards anymore, but uh, I used to. But yeah. So yeah, what time is it now? It is six oh four p.m. Cool, my time is 9.04 a.m. So, yes. You see? It's daytime. But yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. It's still daytime here. It's still pretty bright out. Okay. That's cool. But yeah, um, I do have to charge up my computer. It went down to 9 so yeah, uh, we are infinite and have lived through it all. It I, I, believe in, uh, I believe in reincarnation. We're stuck on this planet until we uh, to, we get to a higher plane of existence, in the sense that uh, we become better better people. And then I think you're you're meant to relive it until you actually succeed to whatever religion you believe in, whether it's you know Agartha, whether it's heaven, what whatever your afterlife is. Yeah, um, um, uh, I I appreciate you having me on, Jacob. Okay. I gotta go charge my computer. All right, man. Let's talk to you soon. All right, Jacob. Uh, stay safe. Everybody in the chat, stay safe. Live long and prosper. Yes. <laughs> and. <laughs> Don't forget to boot Michael McIntosh in 2024. 2028. And, you know, 2024. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. See you all later. See you later, Andre.